I want to go over a model for my gear for this week, and uh, this is my sleep kit um, that I use backpacking and uh, backcountry hunting. And uh, this is everything. This is my uh, my uh, pad, my uh, quilt, and uh, my bivy, all in this little stuff sack. And what's best about this thing is the whole thing weighs 3.3 uh, 3 ounces. Or three pounds, I'm sorry, and three ounces, which is pretty awesome. And I'm able to stuff it just like in, a, in this little stuff sack. And there's three parts to my kit when I go out. The first part is this quilt. I've got this quilt from Enlightened Equipment. And I'll set this up for you and show you, but this isn't a sleeping bag. It's, it's actually a quilt. It, the bottom of it cinches up like a sleeping bag would, but it, but, but it has no bottom, so you don't lay on it, and you lay, lay right in your pad. And it doesn't have a hood like most sleeping bags do, um, so it makes it really light. This thing's, I think, rated like 28 degrees. When I go out, I use a bivy sack, and this is just a Mormon Alpinist bivy that I've got a few years ago. I think this thing weighs like a pound, and it has a good nylon cap at the floor, and then um, the top part of it isn't Gore-Tex, but it's some type of Gore-Tex breathable product of uh, fabric, or relatively breathable. And uh, um, this is kind of what I use as my tent, actually. And the last part of my system is my sleeping pad, and this is a Thermarest Neo Air sleeping pad, and this thing is money. Um, I'd always just used a foam pad before, and, and I got this thing, and it's just amazing. So I'll go ahead and uh, set this up, and I'll come back and kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so here I have uh, the pad and the quilt system set up here. The quilt has these straps that kind of snap together, and so you actually just slide your pad um, inside the quilt. But when you sleep, you don't really sleep on top of the quilt. You just sleep on top of the pad and the quilt goes to the top of you. And the idea is that with down, when you sleep in a regular sleeping bag, even though you have the bag underneath you, you compress the feathers so you really don't get any insulation from it. And what the quilt does is it kind of cuts that part of the pad out and makes it lighter. Also, there's no hood on the on the quilt like a typical mummy bag, and uh, so what I'll do is I'll just sleep in my puppy jacket when I'm out that I have anyway, and so it also cuts the weight. And I'll just take this and I'll just slide it inside my bivy sack. whole thing just kind of fits inside my bivy sack. Just like this. And so when I crawl on my, my bivy sack, I'll just crawl in there just like that. Now I've been in the bivy sack in, uh, in some uh, um, drizzle and stuff. I haven't endured an entire rainstorm in it, so I'm not too sure how well I would endure a rainstorm. Um, and I'd probably get a little bit wet. You can see it doesn't have a, a frame or anything at the top, so I just cover my, myself up in that case. Most of the time my head's out of the sack. What I really like about this system is how light it is first and then how little room it takes. Especially when I'm hunting, you know, a lot of times I'll sleep on ridge tops and, uh, and there's just really, uh, like last weekend I, I couldn't find, if I wanted to, I couldn't find a flat spot for uh, a, a, even a one-man tent. 
And I just slid this thing up in a deer bed uh, right next to a log and it just worked great. Um, so again, the whole thing weighs about um, three, not even three and a half pounds. It's really light. It got below zero. I was plenty warm. It keeps you plenty warm. Um, it's a really neat system. Marmot doesn't make the Alpinus baby anymore. Outdoor Research though makes one that's really similar. It's called a Helium Bibby. It's relatively cheap too. Um, what I'll do is uh, I'll pay attention to the weather before I go out and if it's going to be clear or maybe you know, a chance of afternoon thunder uh, thunderstorms or something like that, then I'll bring this system. If I'm expecting rain, then I'll, I actually have a one-man tent that's really light that I bring too, uh, that I'll bring instead of the baby sack. Uh, but generally, um, I like this system the best. And it's a really a great, a great piece of gear. Okay, just to 